V'chein Kohen Shayalo Korban. We just mentioned that a Kohen, when he's working in the temple, so there are certain times when it's his time to work and certain times when he, he's not supposed to be working. A Kohen shows up, Stam, like this week, his Mishmar is in Chodesh Av. And now he's going to show up in Elul. So the Kohanim on, on duty are going to tell him, thank you very much, but you're not doing anything today. You, you might be a Kohen, but you are not serving today, correct? However, sorry, let's say the Kohen has to bring his own Korban. He has committed a sin, so he's bringing a Chatos. He's thanking God, so he's bringing a, 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 a Thanksgiving offering, a Toda. It's his Korban. Chen Kohen Sheel, a Korban, Harayza Bala Mikdash, Umakrivo, Bechol Yom Shirtseh. He can perform his own service any day he wants, as long as it's not say Shabbos or Yontif, when you're not supposed to bring these types of korbanot. Shnemar, uva bechol awafna shov It says, same parasha, he shall come as much as his heart desires or his soul desires, and he shall serve. Even if it's his sin offering or his guilt offering. Normally, a person who brings a sin offering or guilt offering on a given day presents it to the Kohanim who are on duty. This Kohen has no such obligation. He could say, I myself am a Kohen, so I will be performing this service. And normally, by the way, if it's a nice full-size animal, it takes a number of Kohanim to help it. He just wants to do it all by himself. That's his prerogative. Or shel korbano shelo. Not only that, the skin is his. What's the Kiddush of saying the skin is his? Because that was a Kohanic business. All the 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 sacrifices brought to the temple, especially the communal sacrifices, the skins were kept with Kohanim, and they became the property of that group that was serving the temple at that time. What? What? Yeah, the Ola is entirely burnt. The two to meet him have skins, right? There's a there's a sheep in the morning, a sheep at night, a sheep in the afternoon, and if it's a slow day, so we saw a Kaizim is back, they're going to bring another sheep in the middle of the day just to keep things going. On Shabbos, there's four sheep. So what happens to all those skins? Those become property of that that mishmar in the Beit Af. And that's actually worth something. A skin is a certain cash value. No, Kwanim probably didn't become tanners themselves, but they provide the tanners. So that's good business. And that's part of their compensation for working the temple. You would have thought that, well, normally when a person brings a sacrifice on a weekday, so the Kwanim get to use the, the skin. Or someone else would get it. In this case, he keeps the skin. Not only that, it's a Kiddush to say that there's another Kohen group on duty. He's not on duty at all. He still can offer his own sacrifice. <coughs> In this case, he decides to pick some other Kohen. He brought along another Kohen whose uh, time is, let's say, in Tammuz. Some other Kohen. His friend. His cousin. Okay, Usually not. If they're that closely related, they'd be in the same Mishmar. But you understand, some other Kohen from some other town, he's going to bring him in in Elul. I, he works in Av. He works in Tammuz. They show up in Elul. He gives his sacrifice to this other Kohen. And that skin of the Korban and its work. That's the, This is the, the crazy word here. Okay, Redundant, it seems. Because he just said, he gives the Kohen Lach Rivo. He, gave, he chose a different Kohen to be the one to offer the sacrifice. So now this other Kohen enjoys the skin and its Avodah. Okay, it belongs to this uh, this Kohen who's been appointed. So that's what they say here. They say, well, Avuda is sort of redundant there. So what does it mean? So it means the act of eating the Korban, because part of the Avuda of the sin offering is consuming the sin offering. Okay, Lakriv is already mentioned there. Keeping the skin is not is mentioned there. So it must be this Avuda that's after keeping the skin is eating the meat. I'll read you this note over here from the Koran, and you could read also your Makbili note. Makbili doesn't make note of this, that this is a, a questionable word here. Do you have it? You see the note there? What, what do you got, Josh? Yeah, and he explains it as the Sakhar of the Avodah. The Sakhar of the Avodah is what? Is the Akhila. He gets to eat it, gets to enjoy all the, all the meat. And it's the outcome of it. So Korain says right here, Avodah Akrava, the actual, all the Avodot of bringing the sacrifice. Hera, Rova Parshanim Ispiru al Pi Suyana Bavli Bavavakama. Which is the schar. Okay. So Rav Kapach, I think, also goes with that. Well, we're going to see two more halachot. It doesn't seem to work there, where it seems that it's actually talking about the vodah. 
There it actually seems that Avuda is, you know, the usual stuff, you know, throwing the blood, burning the entrails, etc. There's a lot of shame, yeah. So they say here that Avodah Krava is, we're going to go with this in our explanation, but let's keep these two major ideas in mind, that there are two ways to go with it. So let's look at the next. Now that, we, now that we've seen this idea, uh, let's look into the next halacha, hala, what's, what's generally known as halacha chet, over here. Although, uh, according to the Machon Mamri, it's still halacha zayim. Hayakwein bal korban bal mum. So if you have this, uh, this Kohen who owns the korban, he himself is a bal mum. What does that mean? He can't do certain avudot, but there are, he sometimes can eat. A bal mum isn't completely disqualified. There are some things he can do. No ten korbano lan shemishmar. He doesn't get to appoint a coin. He himself is disqualified, so he can't say, I want to do it. And he also doesn't have this privilege of appointing his own Kohen. Instead, he has to give it to the Anshe Mishmar, the people who are working there that week. And those Anshe Mishmar keep the skin. This coin who brings the Korban is already kind of old, or he's sick. You have the word Dochak or Dechak? What? Dechak, okay. What's the difference? So, dochak is uh, is more of a Hebrew form. It's a Hebrew. It's a Hebrew uh, root, and it's a Hebrew. Uh, what other words do we have in that mishkal? Like a chodesh. Okay, it's a it's a segulent noun. It's a segulent noun, but with a cholam. And the patach's there because the middle letter is a guttural letter. Okay, dochak and dachak are basically very similar. Okay. Sometimes you have like tefach and tofach, right? Tefach and tofach. Tefach is the Mishnaic word for a tofach, which is a hand breath. In the Bible, it's a tofach, spelled the same way. Whether or not the segulet noun is a segol or, or it's a re or kolam, it's no real difference. It's all the same mishkal. And the patach at the end is because, yeah, the word ends in the chet. Okay? Okay, tefach. So dochach is, uh, is one way of saying it. Dechach is more of an Aramaic form, like shtar. Okay? Other words like, uh, give me an example, dochak, dechak, shtar. Uh, I'm trying to think of another word. There was some other examples. They're more mistake. They came from Aramaic. Well, yeah, knas. That's a good example. Okay, those are not such Hebrew forms. Okay? So some have dochak, some have dechak. The point is, this kohen normally wouldn't work. Yeah, he, if he pushes himself, he could do it. So he's technically qualified. He's better than a balmum. No tain korbanol the whole kohen shiyitzeh. He can give this coin to give this job to any coin he wants. The or of Avudah on Shemishmar, but the skin and the Avudah belong to the on Shemishmar. So what does it mean he gave his korban to someone? Once again, it means he gives this coin this korban to any coin to perform the service, but the skin and the meat still go to the on Shemishmar because they're the ones on duty. In either of the other well, why, why, why it can't really make a real shaliyah. Well, why, why he, that? he can still, that he can still choose or give the service himself, but he doesn't get any of the benefit. Well, it's a benefit. It's still as chus that uh, the kohen he chose gets to, let's say, do the avodah, the, the hakrava part. He doesn't get any of the material benefit. Yeah. Be yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here. yeah. What is it? What do you got? It's up to the Gemara there. Yeah. I'm trying to remember it. Yeah. If it, you can technically do Abu Goda in, in your Zohar, yeah. you can't do eating of the Kurban. Oh, yeah, he's, he's a Chol and a Zakin. Yeah, he could technically do the Avoda, but a Chol and a Zakin have a hard time eating. So the eating part, yeah, oh, makes sense. Okay. He could go as a Chilat Chasa. Okay. If you're really um, doing it through the. Through, through, Okay, so that's a that's a decent explanation. We'll go with that. So it says here, but either way, it says If he can't work at all, then it's eaten by So here you go. Not I know that You just said even if he could work a little bit, it's So maybe when it says avuda over here, it didn't mean eating. It meant part of the the part of the the sacrificing, so it's a little bit ambiguous. Yeah, even the Rambam is not clear here. 
Haya Tamei the Korbanot Zibur. There was a Tamei among the Korbanot Zibur. What does that mean? We said that there's sometimes a case where Korbanot Zibur is that there's a Tamei Korban. Okay? And also the Kwanim are Tamei. It's one of those cases, remember, there's there's a Tamei protocol going on. Like we said a few weeks ago. No, no, vale mumin to arrange a boto mishmar. So, really, it's not a co, it's not days we're doing everything bituma. Okay, we have a lot of koanim or tamim, those ones were there, but they, for whatever reason, they haven't raised the flag because they bali mumim. Remember, who gets counted when they have to do the count? Are we going to work in tuma today? Even the kahal shows up. A lot of Jews who are tamay could show up and say, We want in the temple today, and they're like, You people are all tamay mate. And they'll say, yeah, but we're the majority. And they actually do a count. They say, okay, so we'll do everything but Tumah today. So too, the Kwanim or Bali Mumin are still counted. They're still there. To Orim Sheba Oto Mishmar. So they give this co- they give this job to the Kwanim or Bali Mumin. Vorov Avatol Hashem Mishmar Tameim. But the actual service, the the and and getting the skin, they give to the Hashem Mishmar Tameim. Uh, sorry, the, means the service here, or the actual eating. Korain says it must be the service. It can't be the act of eating. So once I, once again, it's a little bit it's a little bit kind of tricky there. Okay, who actually does what? And uh, I, I highlighted this here in my own edition. I really like to see this because uh, I think this perhaps is one of those things that we'll have to rewrite this when the base of is built. Aside from all the places we saw a major machlokas between Rambam and everybody else, perhaps to make this more clear, uh, you know, when we come up with a you know rebuild the temple, we'll have to have exact things what to do this is a saying that's very unclear it's very rare that you actually have an argument what does the Rambam actually mean in practice we all know what he wrote here but the interpretation here is actually kind of ambiguous i could fit it i could read this both ways avoda means the actual act of sacrifice and i could even mean it means the eating but they're radically different interpretations okay there's a coin god though as bring bring korban as an onain, does Aninut even count for the Kohen Gadol? No, no, the whole Kohen Shirt said. Normally, a Kohen is an onain, he shouldn't be working in the temple. So we can't appoint the Shaliach to do his Korban. You can't just choose any other Kohen. But a Kohen Gadol is never an onain. A Kohen Gadol, by the way, he's always in God's house. Oz vechet vavim komo. Like Rav Shechter says, Kohen Gadol has no experience with death. He doesn't get tummy, he doesn't go to funerals. He's always happy, he's always in God's house, and he's always pure. That's Kohen Gadol. So what happens? No snow the whole Kohen she yitzeh. He gives us he gives a sacrifice to any Kohen he wants. And the skin, and once again, the Avodah go to the Anshe Mishmar. It's talking about eating? One well, again, Avodah, is it talking about eating or doing the actual acts of sacrifice? Okay, so they always they, they go Bakbili is consistent, but here it's another case where Korean could say no, it means the, the, the work. At the end of text, yeah. Um, it is yeah, it doesn't say that there anywhere. It says, but he gives it to the, any other Kohen. It means giving it to the to those people. He gives it to them, but it says the or and the avoda go to someone else. So what is the giving? It means the sacrificing, right? He gives it for them to do the all the sacrificial work. Okay, very uh very confusing i don't know like i said i i haven't i haven't gotten anything i could i could tell you what what you say in the books but i haven't seen anything i've never heard a, a shear about this by the way you ever you ever sit in a shear i don't know this is some of the figures they don't learn so i'd like to see some answers and uh i think this will probably be one of those things that some will have to decide you know you can't if you can't even use the rambam they don't decide you know, they don't they can't decide what the rambam is that even saying so we need to clarify this so uh, it says next thing, the Kohen Gadol, unlike other people, is fit to serve even when he's an Onain. By the way, what's an Onain? I forgot to mention this. The Onain is a person who suffers the death of a close relative for whom he has to sit Shiva, except the funeral hasn't happened yet. He's supposed to be taking care of funeral arrangements and burial. So he's an Onain at that time. We're going to see soon that next chapter is that Kohen Gadol doesn't have this, this state ever. Arizo says shliach le korbanos. So we can make a shliach for his korban. A shliach to bring the korban. But perhaps not to eat the korban. Okay? Make, make a chiluk. To do the korban, whatever that is, you can make a shliach. But to eat the korban, it still goes to the anshe mishmar. Kol rosh mishmar mishmar mechalik mishmar olavit avot, vate avot. 
we would like to encourage our viewers to share these videos with friends and send in your responses. If you would like to obtain Birkon Nusach Eretz Yisrael or invite the rabbi for a speaking engagement, please email us at office at machonchilo.org.